Hello guys and welcome to another video from the Iron Fett channel and today I have another piece of armor from my Boba Fett cosplay that I'm going to be showing you guys and it is the chest plates. Now I've had these for a really long time. Um, actually right after I made my helmet it was the first thing that I started on and I've had them for so long. I resin them the first time the first time I got resin and I've had them for so long. They've been resined forever. I haven't had a chance to work on them much other than the Bondo which you guys will see, which is only on one piece of them. Now, the thing I find really special about the chest plates is, like, when you think of Boba Fett, you think of his helmet, and you think of his chest plates and his gauntlets, like the big pieces. I know his shoulder, his shoulder pieces with the Mandalorian symbol is all memorable, but this is one of the most important things, with his little light-up LEDs and the stickers and the dents. It's all very, very cool, and I think it's one of the coolest things that I've done on this armor, and it's also one of the easiest things to make on, on well, if you do it in Pepikira cardstock way, it's actually one of the easiest things to do. Even if you make it out of cardboard, it is really easy. Um, so let's get at it. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so these are the chest plates, and... As you can see here, under under all of them, they're all going to have some foam padding from the uh, kind of puzzle uh, foam mats that I've shown you in my past videos. If you haven't seen them, check it out. But um, it's just kind of thick foam mat, and they're kind of the same thickness of how thick this is. So I just fill it in there. I'm not sure if I want to fill the rest of it, but it's just kind of glued in there for when I attach it to my actual armor. And so yeah, I have only three strips in there because I didn't feel I had to fill the whole thing. This one is bondoed. These two are resined. And actually, so the step process that I did for hardening with these is uh, what I did is I made them out of Pepikira, glued them all together. They're all cardstock paper. And um, then I did a thin, a couple thin layers of wood glue. Now the good thing about wood glue is it's waterproof. It really gives it a good hard skeleton. Now, like I've said in my other videos, uh, wood glue, it's really good because uh, it, it can kind of harden to almost the same consistency as resin. Now, uh, I haven't done a video for my shoulder pads yet, but once I get to those, all I really have to do with those is bondo because I did wood glue them to the point where they are hard enough. They are kind of like plastic, like I can hit them together and they do sound like hard plastic. Uh, these, so these are resin, this one is bondoed. I have sanded quite a bit, I have to touch it up a bit and then finish it off. And I'm going to do these two. Sanding is the hardest part, so I'm in the process for that one. I don't know if I should get the bottom of this, but for sanding, all these, I still got to do the sides and I'm kind of working on rounding it out. And these ones, they kind of got a bit of bumpage to them or kind of bumpy surface. This one is kind of flimsy, but once I get bondo on it, it won't, it won't be flimsy at all. And yeah, I, I think they came out really good. I don't have the middle piece here, actually. Uh, I don't have it with me, but it's pretty much just the same thing, just that thick. I should probably get that together. It's somewhere within my collection of this armor. It's somewhere. And so yeah, so they're all kind of just pieced together with Pepicure. If you, if you haven't seen my video on how to download and use Pepicure Viewer, you should get that. I just used the standard, the fire effect files for this. Uh, I'll put those in the description. Um, and yeah. And they're really nice. They're actually pretty hard. Like uh, The thing is, since these didn't harden, I did leave them out. It was kind of a windy day when I put these out to dry. The resin came out just a little sticky. And I do have cats and animals around here, so they are a little hairy. But once I sand those down before I put the bonder down, I should be able to get that all out. It is kind of a pain having animals with stuff like this because when I was sanding my gauntlets uh, for the arms of my armor, uh, my cats actually were outside and knocked down the gauntlets and got dirt all over them so I had to sand all that out. It was, it was a big pain and re-resin a bit of it but it's all good now. I'll show you there's still a bit on there. I'll show you when I make my gauntlet videos. But yeah, uh, they came out really nice. Uh, I fit them on my body before and I think they came out fairly well. I haven't like put them on a t-shirt yet or anything so uh, I haven't actually worn them but I'm planning to do that soon once I get these all sanded. Before I paint them I'm hoping uh, I might actually want to go ahead and figure out how I'm going to attach them to the armor. I was thinking just go ahead 
and do Velcro, like heavy duty Velcro, and that might work. But I'm still thinking, I'm still looking on the uh, dented helmet form to see what other people have done and stuff like that. But yeah, there's kind of a bend in this piece right here. This is hollow, uh, right here is cut out. Uh, there's kind of a bend in it, which I gotta work out, but I think it'll be fine. Uh, like I said, there's still nicks and stuff here. It's fairly smooth, it came out pretty flat. The, the kind of form of it came out pretty even on these two kind of uh, bumps here. Because you kind of want to have even spacing on how much they come out and everything, right? It is a little flatter here than it is here, but I thought it came out pretty good. Uh, tell me what you guys saw in the descriptions. Uh, if you guys have any Boba Fett armor cosplay or any cosplay at all that you guys want uh, me to try to do or even or even any that you've done yourself, uh, uh, hit me up in the comments. Tell me about it and yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll have some pictures up. Actually, if you want to see a ton of pictures about like making these and like resining and the whole process, check my Wix, check out my Wix website, which I've said before in my videos. And yeah, uh, like this video and subscribe for more. I got way more Boba Fett armor videos coming. And yeah, see ya. Thank you.